Hello YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Far From Home. In this series, we are trying to return 25,000 kilometers back to our home after being kidnapped by pirates. Last time on the show, we salvaged most of the pirate asteroid base, got some of the uh, large grid blocks intact, and we um, started working on our version of the mini pig. And actually, we got that build mostly done. This episode, we hope to uh, get some more salvage. We need to get thrusters and things so that we can get on our way. So where we're at is um, I was building this little mini pig to act as a tug so I can uh, get blocks out of tight spaces or get them into tight spaces. So that's what this thing is for. And uh, we're almost done. I just need to um, get it plugged in to get the hydrogen in it. After that, um, we're going to take this thing and we're going to go to one of these pirate maydays and check it out. I got the survival kit on here, so now if I die, I don't have to come all the way back here. Um, so first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to try and get this thing peeled up and then we're going to park it here somewhere that I haven't created yet. Well, we're going to do that right here. That's going to be very temporary. Okay, so... I'm going to try and be tricksy and convert this thing to a station. Um, I just got to be able to move this thing around, so... Well, let's hope this doesn't really do much. Oh, I can't convert it to... Maybe it needs to be um, on. I can't convert it to... Well, hopefully I can just back up and plug it in, and if I won't bump it, that being my big concern, because if I bump it, it's going to go places, and we don't want that. Ooh, I wonder if that'll connect. Nice. Those look cool. Sucking it out of the scuttler. Okay, so... I actually need to add a small head. Oh my lord, that thing has some thrust. Oh gosh, that's um, possibly too much thrust. So let's get this sorted out. Holy moly.
All right. Um, here goes. Let's hope nothing. Uh, let's hope nothing bad happens. Oh, bad, bad, bad. Oh, disconnect, disconnect, bad. Oh, God. Uh, that was terrible and scary. I don't know what was happening uh, at all. Uh, but I feel very lucky to not be dead. Um, I gotta change how that connects. I'm wondering if the magnetic plates are just too close to that rotor head, and maybe that's the issue. Okay, so this time we're, we're we're gonna we're gonna be ready to to turn the inertial dampeners off immediately. Wow, that's scary. Okay, so that's the mini pig, and I am pretty pleased with it. So. We're going to see how it performs later on. Right now, we need to go and find these maydays. Where do they? Where are they? They're going for the not huge one. So the hope here is that this salvage uh, is going to have thrusters on it because we don't have any thrusters. Oh, is Mayday 2 really the one I want? Hmm. I don't know. Let's see what's over here. Okay, so... Um, at this point, I kind of flail around a little bit looking for, uh, looking for the May Day. I thought there was going to be one here, and, um, sometimes I just mark kind of like where they're nearby, and that may have just been an indication that I should have gone and, and found another signal. So I'm out here, like, looking for the signal, and I find something else that I didn't expect to find. Um, like a totally different signal. So, so that's kind of cool. So that's what's coming up next. What is that? A rock? Oh, asteroids here. Oh. No wonder I can't see them. They're behind these asteroids. That is huge. This has thrusters. This has a lot of thrusters. And that is... That is going to do something if I get close. Oh, it's got a nuclear reactor on it? Okay, well, this is going to be amazing. Except that uh, there has got to be 
Oh, that's a, these are this is oh my god! I am so close. That really is forty meters. This is a small grid ship. Well, I would bet that's going to go. That oh, that's the Mayday beacon put out when the ship crashed. Oh. It's just controlling when that comes on or off. Is that all that's doing? I don't really see sensors. What does this say? Okay, well, this dude doesn't need this ship anymore, so I guess I should be able to just take it. Wow, this is basically like... Well, this is an awesome looking small grid ship. need to hack anything. Well, it must need to hack something. Because it, uh, it needs to hack that for me. Okay, it is hacking. Okay, good. Time to go get this. Oh, it's got a reactor. That's cool. Hmm. Well, that's something. Can I get in there yet? Nope. Well, let's take her back. What? Why? Why are you shooting? Stop! Oh gosh, that is not helping. Ugh. I thought you hacked all that stuff. It's blowing up what? Oh, it blew up the weapon. Hmm. What is going on? It's still access denied. Okay, well, you didn't hack everything. You said you did, but you didn't. And that's not okay, because I need this to not get shot up. So... Can we connect this to the cockpit? Oh, that's not what I wanted. Let's turn those off. They're too much. Okay, well, you know, this is the first game that I've ever used the hacking computer, so it's not like I know how it works. So, you know, this is a good lesson with this small grid ship and just this one gun on my base, because it would have been horrible if I'd had a bunch of guns. Now, let's see, is the hacking computer going to decide that it needs to hack things? No, it's not, so I don't. That's not working for me. Um, let's see if the uh, hacking chip will work better if I uh, connect via um, a connector instead of a landing gear. I, I really don't. 
I really don't know all the nuances about how this hacking chip works. So we'll just, we'll see if this helps. I'm a little doubtful, but it's worth a try. Oh, is it because that grid is unpowered? Is that the problem? Oh, and now is it going to hack it? Oh, yeah. So it's because it was unpowered. Huh. Okay. We're not hacking things that aren't turned on. So access denied. Well, that doesn't work for me. The darn the darn thing is powered. Okay. So if I stick, if I stick the landing gear on there, will it decide to hack the reactor? I mean, it did hack something when I attached to it. It hacked like the connector. Is it working? It's not working. I guess I'm going to tear that out and replace it with a battery. But right now, I'm just going to attach this thing underneath there. small grid thrusters are going to be super helpful or just just that ship I mean I think we investigate this one I'm gonna to go to Mayday 2 now oh, there's a gun up there for sure in the front section. Is there an approach vector where I can get in there and... I can't see a gosh darn thing. I, uh... Oh, it's down there. does seem like a safe approach. Nope, it is not safe. I have to be down a little. I can be down in here. Okay, I can be down in here. So I just gotta go down more. Okay, so we're gonna change the approach vector of the scuttler here by uh, moving down and uh, and then we're gonna approach to the approach up to the wreck and try and try and hook up and start hacking. Um, it's not necessarily the smartest choice because um, you know I only have this one scuttler, so hopefully, uh, hopefully he's just not gonna shoot the heck out of me. Boy, is the uh, Boy, is the sun making it really hard to see this thing, see where I'm going. I'm uh, <laughs> a little nervous.
All right, let's uh, let's do this. <laughs> oh man. I think we made it. Hopefully there won't be any traps. Okay, so there's definitely a gun here. So this really only has the one gun on it. Are there any more guns? Oh, this is huge. This is everything I... Well, is it? It's a lot of what I need. I mean, it's certainly plenty of steel and whatnot. Is that real? Is that the only gun? I have a hard time believing that's the only gun. Well, this is that red ship or one of them. Look at those doors. Huh. What are we hacking? Okay, so while that hacking is going on, let's uh, let's go check out the rest of this and uh, see if there's any other guns that need to be neutralized or anything like that. It looks like a gun up there. I don't like that. Okay. What is she? Terrifying. Oh, that thing is my gun is. Sh Stop doing that. Yeah, stop doing that. Yeah, who knows what nice stuff you just lost for me. Oh man, this is going to take forever for you to hack this stuff. Quite a few batteries with quite a bit of power. That is nice. Uh, some rockets. Oh. 
I'm going to try and shoot that uh, turret over there because I kind of want to see what's going on over there. I've never tried to use one of these uh, pistols before, so I'm kind of curious how this is going to go. I don't, I don't normally play with any real combat. I just do like building games, so this is kind of different for me. Wow, this is not particularly effective. Oh, there we go. Cool. What else do we have going on here? Just nervous, one of those things out there with a gun on it somewhere. that I definitely need that oh gravity generator huh. intact nice okay let's check the rest of this out see if there are any more guns that we need to neutralize don't want to have any uh, accidents. gun wasn't shooting this. Uh, well, it's got some superconductors in it. That's nice. Are there any more guns out here? Ooh, hydrogen tank. Awesome. Oh, that is awesome. Piles of stuff everywhere. Okay, I think... Oh, neat. That's a neat looking uh, setup there with the engines. Huh. How are we doing? We hack everything yet? Apparently. Okay, so let's get this uh, scuttler hooked up to another section of this uh, salvage here and uh, get it hacking on some of this stuff. Get this stuff transferred over to me as soon as possible. Okay, well let's um, let's grind up some of the stuff. And all I've got is that grinder, right? Okay, great. Well, I'll just uh, do what we can.
Uh, I'm going to take this back. No, I'm going to take this back because it has the hydrogen on it and it's unpowered and I'm just a little nervous. Because I really want this. So I'm going to take that back. So I need to make it a... Um, I need to make it a um, ship. It's taking forever to accelerate this much weight a ton. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so let's go back. All right, which piece is the most valuable? I mean, that's pretty valuable. But I'm worried about stuff that has other kinds of... So this has got a gravity generator. Oh, there's all kinds of scrap in here. I should be picking up. Oh yeah, this is, this is from where that turret decided to start shooting at this other ship because it thinks it's a different grid because it was. Inventory full. Oh, I got inventory full. Uh, this has a laser antenna. That's pretty valuable. This also has power. Hmm. Does it? Yeah, I guess it does. Uh, I hope my gun turret didn't do that. Ugh. Probably it did. Mm. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need a gyro. Hmm. Okay. Well, all right, let's take this thing back. Okay, that was the problem. Oh, there's still some stuff in there that's attached. Okay. Okay, are we good now? I lost just about everything that was worth having here. What is that? Hmm. You know, I wonder if I could weld these two chunks together, then uh, maybe I could take it all back as one. That would be... Uh, a lot more convenient for sure. Let's uh, let's see about that. Let's get this cleaned up and uh, slap some weld pads on here. Uh, 
Okay, so where are we going to put another weld pad on this to hook these together? Maybe uh, they're right there. I'm just going to have to clean up the... Uh, clean up a little bit more of the wreck, but it should, uh, should go together there nicely. Oh, I need a computer? Ugh. Well, there should be one here somewhere. How about here? Eh. I mean, yeah, they're there, but let's let's go for this timer block. Got computers. Cool. Okay. Well, after uh, quite a lot of suffering, I um, I just accept failure on hooking these two pieces together, and I uh, decide to take the front section back instead of gluing them together and getting the back section hacked and taking them back at the same time. It is really hard to maneuver these big chunks of ships with this teeny little ship. Okay. Let's do a hard burn, spin this thing around, and uh, take her home. So the idea here with all this is that I'm going to get what I need to bake, like for thrusters and hydrogen, I'm going to get that. And I'm going to get some propulsion on here. And then I'm going to salvage the rest of this stuff in transit. And I am going to do all my building and designing and all that stuff while I'm on the move. And um, I may not need to pick anything up for a little while once I get all this stuff on here. And I'm just trying to get enough pieces and parts like thrusters and things. And I have a couple here, so that's nice. Um, but I need some more. I have, yeah, I need some more, and then I'll be able to go. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Far From Home. When we come back, we're going to find out what happens with that reaver.